Glass um, geo design table. <laughs> Come in, come in, come in. So welcome to Inigo's home. So he hired me, well not hired me, asked me to design this home. And today I'm going to be showing to you some DIYs I made for this nice. home. And to show you the before and after. It's not exactly a house too because it's not completely done yet. But I want to show you tips and tricks on how to make your home really nice on a budget. So first is this green wall at the foyer. So this is only... 150 pesos each so you can have that green wall effect in your house when you enter the reason we had that there because that used to be a window and I had um, leftover greeneries from my cafe and that's where I put it let's go so over here is the office the home office don't go in there and here is the living room so Nico wanted a sunken living room so this entire house is actually part of his warehouse so in this other living room would be where we chill, we hang out. So he wanted a very light wood and black combination. I've never actually done this before. So it was really a challenge to do so. So I decided to make the carpet black. Thank you for my supplier for sponsoring this black carpet. And also this sofa, it may look very, very expensive, but I only spent 10,000 pesos to make it. Yes, I made it myself. So. Let me tell you how I did that. So to show you how to customize your own sofa, usually 10 to 15 seater sofas are 65 to 80,000. So this is a custom made by me and Inigo. So what I did was I made this platform. It's just made of plywood. You just have to have a base and a platform base. And buy foam from Eurotex, wrap it up, and then staple gun it together. And then you have the seat of the sofa already with those three items. And then this pillow that I got is from a side street, Malalahe. It means like in the palengke, yung mga nagtatahi doon. Nagpagawa ko sa kanila na mga pillows and it was only 3,000 for all of it. Usually when you order pillows like this, it would be 2,000 each. But if you give those Malalahe a chance, they'll be able to give you a really, really nice product. So overall, this entire sofa was handmade with love and on a budget. Next, DIY. Let's check it out. Next is these blinds I got it from Lazada. So they are only 500 pesos each. If you order from a supplier, like a upholstery supplier or blind supplier, they would charge about 5,000 each. So in Lazada, you can order this for 500 pesos. You just have to know the size of the window. And next DIY is this bike sculpture that I made. So. At that time, I didn't really know what to do during ECQ, so I just put together some um, bike wheels from a junk shop and then spray painted it and made it into this art. I call it Chained in Chaos. To match this gold accent that I made, look at that clock over there. That is actually only 1,000 pesos from SNR. Yeah, I, I got that from SNR because I saw it when I was grocery shopping. That's only 1,000 pesos. So from that corner, to this corner it makes you feel that the place is a little bit more classy but if you add all of those up 1000 pesos 500 500 500 25 plus 300 peso junk shop this is only 27 from end to end <laughs> next space saving diy you can do is a dining table so let's look at the legs first down here these are tubular legs it's tubular metal I had my welder welded together. This was extra from the site. These are only two pieces of tubular, which are about below 1,000 pesos. Have them welded together. And this glass I got from my supplier for only 7,000 pesos. In the beginning, it was clear glass. But I found it really ugly that it was just glass and I was bored at that time. And I wanted to design it. So what I did was I flipped it over, painted on the other side. What I did was the gold details first because it's going to be a reverse painting. Reverse painting means is that you do the details first before the background. So anything that I had to do... Uh, sorry, my dogs are working. So anything that I had to redo, um, like the details, I can't do it anymore after the background. So it was really, really tricky how to do this. You have to do the gold first, and then the silver lining from metallic markers, and then white paint splatter everywhere, and then 
cover it black. So you can watch on my Instagram also how I did that. So it really makes a really nice dining table. If you're wondering where these came from, I got this from an office that closed down and I got it for free. But usually if you have this made from a shop at 6.5 and if you buy it from a store, I think it's 3.5. But to save money, you can always look online for offices that are closed, restaurants that are closed, or giving away items like these. So it may look a little bit old, but um, Shafi Cleaning can fix that. <laughs> and then this one is also DIY. We had this leftover from a site. It was in SM. It was already in the previous store that was in SM Fairview. Um, the previous store that was there, they gave these lights to us. And then we just repainted it, repainted this white, and then it looks so nice. Overall, this entire cost of this dining area is free, free, 7,000 pesos. <laughs> Okay, next up is these cute little shelves. I got this from Lazada too for only 500 pesos and this for 150 pesos. Overall, it makes a little nice accent over this black wall. And lastly is the kitchen. The kitchen is from Ideal Home. Thank you guys so much for this kitchen. It's really, really nice. And what I love about it is how it's all organized together. They were able to make the island. Also the countertop, the sink, the cabinet, even this range hood and the stove is from Ideal Home. So, hmm, what other DIYs did I do in this house? Maybe fixing a bulb? Would you want me to do a vlog of fixing lights like that? I could, only if that's interesting for you guys. I think that'd be cool, no, Dania? Yeah. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Oh, look at the house rules that we got. So basically, these are the basic house rules. <laughs> so this fridge, this fridge, if you can believe it, is only 25,000 pesos. Inigo bought this from Facebook Marketplace. And we had an aircon technician check it out if it's good. It's really nice. It's black graphic. It's black glass, and it makes you feel like it's really really expensive. It's like 100,000 pesos. But there are a lot of um, secondhand fridge in marketplace. People who want to dispose appliances, and maybe you can find a drop pad like this. But it's nice here. But I don't know why it's snowing in here. <laughs> it's That's secondhand. Snow. I can't adjust it. Like, if anyone can help me, help me. Like, look, there's an help. icicle. <laughs> but it is 25,000 pesos. You get what you pay for. <laughs> Don't mind all the liquor they already drank. <laughs> Sensory. Okay. So now that you've seen the ground floor, I want to show you outside. But before that, there are two more rooms here. This one, and that one over there. That I'll be designing for his friends because they're going to be moving here. And he's going to have new roommates. So I'm going to show you the before of this room. This room is actually going to be one of our friends. Who it's going to be his studio and his bedroom. So check out how it looks now. It's so ugly. So stay tuned how we're going to transform that. Hmm, what's another DIY? That, what's another DIY that we did? Oh, the court. Let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I forget, I forgot to show this to you guys. These are cones that I made and then plants that I ordered from Lazada. This was like 100 pesos, and this was 100 pesos. Then I bought these wood stickers and then stickered it all together to create this accent before. The only reason I did that is because that side has a plant, and this side did If you think it's not symmetrical, it's okay. I, I think it's great. <laughs> so next up, oh, this is a plant we got from All Home in my last vlog. So this is the 
balcony. So Inigo wants to put grass here. Um, grass supplier, baka naman. Baka <laughs> naman. Baka <laughs> naman. So as I said a while ago, that this is also his place of business. Let's look underneath. There's a lot of carts. A lot of bad dog and chilo carts. So this is where he rest, work, and play. Play is over here. Ooh. So right now the court's a little bit beat up because he plays it every day. But this is the previous court. I'll show you how it looked like when it was first painted and the before video. So now that you've seen the before of this court, you may be wondering how it was made. So this was just completely painted black and I designed on Photoshop a design that could be done on the floor and a muralist did it on the floor. And this one, this stand was made by my welders for only 18k. Usually these kinds of stands are really really expensive but we were able to just make one for him and we ordered this from Dream Court. Look at how beautiful that backboard is. It's tempered glass. I think they imported it from Germany. I think that's 18K too. Oh. My, my golden retriever. Buddy! Buddy! So if you can notice that there are fences around, that's also DIY by my workers. It makes you feel like those um, cage basketball in the States. So that's very, very cheap to do. You just have to get metal mesh and tubular and then fence it together and then paint it black. So overall, those are the DIYs this house has. And I hope you guys like it and I hope I gave you guys an idea how to make your home so beautiful in a budget. Stay tuned for a full walkthrough of this place soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye!